All right, tonight we learn some uh, ankle pick, like fake guard pull to ankle pick and also fake guard pull to single leg and a great way for you to finish the single leg. I know like a lot of people struggle on the single leg finish, so I showed a really nice way to get the ankle pick uh, from the single leg. Check it out. Don't miss all the details. Us. So we got to do a simple technique, okay? Very effective is the fake guard pull to single leg, okay? So we're going to start with that, but then I'm going to show you how to take the back from there as well. Because always when you take the person down, sweep or pass the guard, your opponent will always turtle. He's going to turtle to try to defend the takedown. Or turtle to try to defend the guard pass, or turtle to try to defend the sweep. You got to have a good back take, good transition to the back. Always, okay? Especially if you're a lightweight, okay? Sometimes you're fighting someone heavier than you. It's hard for you to control the side control or to maintain the position on top. Your opponent will try to turtle to defend. You gotta be ready to attack the back and then get the choke. And if you're like a lightweight, um, it's very, very good to always think about taking the back. And if you're a heavyweight, better, okay? So if you take the back, fight is over, pretty much, okay? All right, so very simple. First, we're gonna start as an ankle pick, okay? I'm gonna control the collar and the sleeve. The hand that'll attack his leg is this one, the sleeve hand, okay, the sleeve uh, grip. So my goal is to get the ankle, okay? But first, I'll, I must uh, make my opponent react, okay? So I, I do a fake guard pull. So with my right side, I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna pull guard, okay? So I go here. I squat, you see how I squat? I cannot do this, okay? So it must be almost touching my butt on the floor and then I go here. And at the same time I'm doing that, I'm pulling his collar down. I started using this technique back in 2007, okay, and it works really well. So I'm here. Head to head, this is a very even position, okay? Sometimes hard for you to break the opponent's uh, grip. You, you can also pull guard, right? Let's say I pull my opponent guard and I try to like sweep him, like an overhead sweep, right? And then he's like not uh, accepting the sweep. And for instance, like we start standing again. So my opponent thinks that I'll pull guard again. That's the right moment for me to do. Okay, so I go. One, you see, my butt almost touched my heel. Okay, and then two, I'll bring my leg that's close to his hip behind me here. Toes on the mat, I'm not doing this, okay? Toes on the mat, pulling the collar down because I need my opponent folded. Okay, I need his head aligned with his hip, okay? Then I'll catch his ankle here. Pulling the collar down, bringing the ankle to me, okay? Now I am between his legs, okay? I don't wanna do with his, uh, with his stance or his posture like this, okay? Look if I don't fold him, there's a lot weight on his leg and also my hand is so far my arm my elbow is far from my body it's kind of like awkward for me maybe i can push forward and i'll be on this position here okay now is an extra work inside trip foot sweep okay so he can resist more but the way you gotta do is fold him just like in wrestling you grab the head of your opponent and then you drop on your knees, try to bring his head close to his, knee, to his knee, and then you're gonna go for the ankle pick. It's so easy for you to do that, okay? And take it down right away. So again, we start slow. Head to head, step one, step two, step three. And then I go between his legs, okay? And make sure when you go between the legs, Keep his thighs, okay, be, uh, under your knee, 
Okay, below your knee. All right? Don't go here, because then he's going to close the guard. So I go here. And now afterwards, I can start going for a knee cut. Okay? Sometimes people do like this. Take down. And then go straight to a knee cut. So if I don't establish the take down for three seconds, it's not going to be points. But maybe it's going to fall and go straight to a single leg on me. And like this. And now it's going to be a battle here. Okay? That's why I want to see you between the legs. You know? Again. One, two. Taking down. Between the legs. Now you go for the knee cut. Okay? And you do on me. The side he's controlling the sleeve is the side he's going to attack. Okay? One, two. Take me down between the legs. Establish the takedown. Now I step over and start applying the, the knee cut. Okay? Because you also doesn't wanna be, you don't want to be between his legs. Okay? Too much. Just to establish the three seconds. So I'm here. The hand on the collar is the side I'm going to go with my foot on your zip. One, two. Now I go to the side. Then I can pass the guard. Okay? Any question? Yes. Uh, it's hard to do forward. Backwards is better. So I don't want to like go here and then try to do from here. It's, it's harder. So it's better to be neutral or walking backwards. Okay? Especially when you're stepping the leg. Because what the reaction of the opponent is this. Let's say Andy pulls guard, like pull guard completely on Andy. My reaction is like leaning back, okay, first. With the fake pull, my reaction is leaning back as well. But then he's going to catch my ankle going. My reaction is like this, ooh, he got me. Right when I'm react, reacting like to posture or to, to freeze and stop the position, right? And you as a partner, you can do that. Go, Andy. Go. Oh, you see? Like, pretend like he's really going to pull your guard, so you react, and then he's going to catch you. Take me down, Andy. See? That's how you catch him. You see? It's that moment where I kind of like, oh, you know? Oh, and then you catch him and take him down. Okay? Remember, martial art. You gotta be an artist. So you gotta pretend. Okay? So when you when you hear, it's an art. It's like theater, right? So I cannot go like, you know, I'm gonna pull you guard, right? It needs to be all like pretending. You're gonna really like think, yeah, you're gonna really make him think that you're gonna pull guard. That's why I cannot be like, like this. Because that doesn't call the guard pull. But if I bring my heel like low, that's when I, I feel like I'm doing really well. Okay, so you're pretending, all right? You can drop this, the fore knee, this leg here, the side to attack the ankle. You can drop this on the floor too, you know? It's okay. But right away when he falls, you stand up and then establish the pass, okay? Go, very simple, really effective. One, two, three. Thanks, go. I see some of you with this arm stiff and straight. So if this arm is straight, even though I drop him, it's far from me, you see? Okay, and also posture up, and it's easier for him to posture up. So at the moment you bring in this leg close to his hip, this elbow must come to your hip, to your rib. Like this. So look. You see? My elbow here tried to posture Andy. It's hard. Now it's easier for me to take him down. I can be with my uh, both knees on the floor. Just as he falls, make sure you stand up. Why I stand up? Because I have quick reactions. Okay? But if you like to go like here and then 
You get inside the clothes guard, it's fine too, okay? Now you gotta deal with the clothes guard, open his guard, okay? But make sure you bring the elbow close to your rib. So I'm here, I go like, one, two, three, start getting the knee cut. Yes. It's more like to the side, but to be honest, like I feel like I just pull him. Just pull and then what will make him fall is this. Not, this is not gonna work. If I wanna, but if I wanna push him, I push this way because he doesn't have this leg. Okay, I push more this way. Is that enough? If I push that way, he have this other leg free. So it's easier for him to post the hand and post the leg. So I push more this way, but to be honest, I just pull his leg to me here, okay? Yeah, you don't need to drive, just pull down. Any other question? Gabe? I, I have one that's kind of just interesting to me, because if you do the ankle pick, and let's say they step back, and you can go for the other ankle, do you ever like fake the original ankle for the other one? I mean, oh, okay. Show that? Yeah, 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 like here on this side? Oh, yeah. yeah, you can catch the other ankle too. Yeah. If they step back. yeah. But I feel like it's not hard for me to reach the, the leg as long as I bring my elbow to me. You know, I can even go like this straight if I want. But he's going to resist. He can sprawl. And what I need, I need to sell my guard pull, right? Like, whoop, and then he's going to react. And then I go here. Whoop, take it down one, two, three. And then start dealing with the knee cuts. Okay, just pull more the elbow. Let's go. One, two, three. All right, now let's add the, the knee cut with the back take, for example. So I'm here fighting, right? You see like he's with the head, head with the head. Nobody wants to pull guard, you know? He's like, man, I'm just going to wait here. This happens a lot, especially in the master's division <laughs> or heavyweights, right? The masters don't like to play guard. I don't know why. <laughs> so you go here. One, two, take him down. Three seconds. Get on the side, start passing his guard. So when I'm passing his guard, now there's two ways for him to turtle. Either facing towards me or facing away from me. Exactly. Face away. Then. And then I'm going to start getting my seatbelt and then take his back. Okay? Now it's Andy's turn. Okay, guard pull. Ah, take it down. One, two, three seconds. Get the knee cut, now I go here. Turn around, take the back. Boom. You see the secret of uh, the back take? It's maintaining your knees here, okay? So as I'm passing his turtle, don't try to keep this knee on the floor and don't try to take the back with this knee on the floor, okay? Use this knee here, all right? Even if he doesn't turtle anymore, I'm gonna sit with him between my, my knees, okay? That means between my legs, right? And if he, if he turtles, he's gonna guide me on top of him, look. And then my hook will be there, okay? Turn on. So over here, he's gonna turtle, turtle, and look, my hook already there, you see? Now I put the second hook, I'm on his back. And also, when you are getting the seatbelt, your chin on his shoulder, okay? A lot of times I see people getting the back like this with the head far, turn to me really fast and the person do this, then you're gonna lose the back. Go in the turn. Okay, just like that. You see like with Andy getting the knee cut and when I'm facing towards him, he's gonna go around and then place the knee on top of me, you see? Now when I turn, he's on top of me. Okay? And if he doesn't place the knee here, put your knee on the floor, and he's gonna be too late, look. Now I can, you see? But if I apply the knee there, all time, he's always, you see? Okay? Uh, 
Uh, it needs to be combined. Just the knee itself without the seatbelt is... Yeah, sometimes I have just this grip. Let's say I took, it, I took Andy down and I have just this grip here. Face away, Andy. Go, 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 look. I don't have going, face. Sometimes, yeah, you know, this, this leg placement here, it's very important. Also, like, if you end it, decides to go with the shoulder on the mat and try to, to lift, it, to raise his hip, he also will have a hard time because I'm, I'm heavy on his hip, try to lift your hip up, so he can't. Now he's going to sit up, and he's going to turn, and then he's going to guide me, okay? So now, the drill is like this, fast. Go in one time. Boom. One, two, three, fast. Sit my back. Then my turn. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. Okay. See how fast I put my, my thighs and my knees outside of his hip. It's like mounting on his hip, like multi, mounting a horse. After that, you put the hooks in, okay? <laughs> it's a pony. <laughs> it's a pony. <laughs> All right, let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> right? Sometimes you're going to make a mistake of like, you get in here, but then like he's, he's like on balance like this, right? You got the ankle pick, you got the single leg. Either with your arm like around his ankle, like an ankle lock, or like with your arm more like close to the knee. And I feel like when a good jiu-jitsu fighter, when the person is right here, they try to bring the leg inside and then make this hook right here. Because now it's harder for him to lift my leg up. Okay, so if I keep my leg outside, Andy can go to double leg, right? He can go for a nice inside trip, right? Foot sweep, so it's easier for me to put my foot in like this, okay? So a lot of times you, you may not gonna hit the, the ankle peak. You can go as a single leg as well. So when you get here, you go like more like as a single leg like this, okay? It happens. So you can do that right now, all right? You can either go straight around his knee, like this, and then you push him for this one because it's not gonna fall right away. Or you can go as an ankle pick, and then when you're here, he's gonna swallow the leg in and then put the hook in, like this. Once his foot is between your legs, you need to have your knee pinched, okay? I don't wanna give an option to put the leg out or in or to the other side. I want his leg between my legs, okay? But sometimes the other leg, it's far from me because he's femur here. So he's make a nice frame here. Okay, it's hard for me to reach the other leg, especially if my opponent's controlling my, my wrist. And then I see a lot of times you can get this grip here on the collar, cross collar, same side collar, cross sleeve, or same side sleeve. This hand right here must grab something. You can grab your own collar as well, like this. Since we are, we're wearing the gi, you can do that, okay? So step one, you can go here. You can go to the sleeve, one of the sleeves, okay? You can go to one of the collars, or you can go to the belt as well, okay? But the problem is when I'm trying to grab his leg, he's like defending here, right? And it's easier for me to change for a double leg if his leg is out. I can go this way or I can go this way, okay? And I see like people spending time here. They start getting tired, getting tired, getting tired. By the time the guy skate, they're like, oh, they can even like stand up. Who say yeah? <laughs> and he's like, oh. and the guy shoot and take you down. And that's actually what I like to do when people go to my leg. I like to make the entire. I just stay here in a good balance. Let it work, let it work, you know? I know when they let go, it's my time. I'm fresh and they're tired, right? There's a lot of work on their lower back. 
But one thing that I'm doing lately and works really well, so first I need to have this hand free, okay? And why my opponent will control my hand here? Because he doesn't want me to control his head and, and foot sweep. He doesn't want to have me like controlling his pants right here. Okay, try to grab my hand and I just extend my arm out. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring his foot near the other foot, dropping my knee on the floor, catching his ankle like this. Now I push with my chest, okay? And once he falls, I'm gonna tripod. I'll become like a tripod, you see that? You see where my head goes? My head goes right next to his head and I bring this leg on my lap. If I keep this leg under, he probably can turtle, turtle in. He's gonna turtle, look. Go back. So since I got the ankle pick, I bring this leg here. Trying to turn right now, so he can. I control him for three seconds. Now, I got my, my two points, and also I control the situation. Now I can start getting the side smash, or the folding pass, okay? Again, it's gonna be more, a single, more like a single leg, okay? Instead of ankle pick. So I'm here, I go, whoop, single leg. Grab the collar. Move him. Now look what I do. My goal is to bring this foot near the other foot. I cannot drop here because it's far, you see? I need to drop with my knee as close as I can to his foot. And then take him down. Now I get a tripod. Control, control. Once I feel like I'm ready to pass, I start working on my pass. Either this way, or like cut this way, or going straight to mount. You got it? It's very surprising. So I'm here, and he's like trying to grab my hand. I'm moving. And another thing, when you go here, don't try to let go the collar to go here. Because look, you see? He's gonna pull the leg out. I showed this uh, morning at the comp class and some people were doing this. They focus too much on the outside leg. Now he can go with the leg like this and then I'll need to fight again, okay? So make sure you keep the grip on the collar, on the belt, on the sleeve, whatever you're grabbing your grip, just here. Get the ankle pick and have your toes on the mat so you can push with your toes using your chest, okay? And now you make the base stay on top. Control, and now you're ready to pass. You see that my head goes on the side of his head right away. Again, one more time. So I move with Andy. I'm like, oh, here. I'm like, oh, I can even talk to him. Like, I'm gonna pull your guard. Like, I'll, I'll pull. And then, Wah! no, I'm not going to pull you. You see? Now, control. Okay? And then you move. Now, whoop. Take it down. Head on the side of his head. Tripod position. Control. Once you control, great. Start passing the guard. All right? Any question? Don't commit the mistake of, like, both hands on the outside leg, okay? Just grab the ankle pick, yes. I put the head next to his head. It's above the shoulder, close to his head, okay? Because uh, I don't wanna, look here. I don't wanna go with my head here. It's too far for him, you see? He can frame me, he extend his body. So I want to bring his knee to his chest, okay? And I want to keep contact on his head like this. So I make his neck like this. And then he feels like, oh, he doesn't have strength if his head like this. It's like this. He has, he's very strong if his neck is aligned. You don't do like deadlift like this, right? 
right? So you need a good posture. So I break his posture. So when I get here, I, I break his posture. I make his head like, like this. And then he's like, oh, very weak. Okay. All right, guys. Last one. End it with me. So fake guard pull. Single leg. Control. Tripod. Uh, I'm like trying to stand up and then and he's controlling me. Now once he control, then he's gonna pass. See how it's very hard for me to frame when his head is here. I can't do anything. If his head is here, like this, now I can push and start escape. Okay. All right, let's work. One, two, three. Thanks.